now we'll see the uh, questions based on osmotic pressure of the solution so here uh, the question is at 25 degree centigrade a solution containing 0.2 gram of a uh, polyisobutylene in 100 ml of benzene developed a, pre a rise of 2.4 millimeter at osmotic equilibrium so calculate the molecular mass of polyisobutylene so if the density of the solution is 0.88 gram per ml so uh, density of solution is given and weight of the polyisopropylene is also given and weight of the solvent is 100 ml benzene temperature given pressure of the uh, this uh, pi is also given so again you can use formula uh, pi equal to c into s into t so c we know that c is concentration this is the solution constant this we can write c n into v and so pi will be your h rho z so here we require h rho z okay so how much uh, what is the high density and uh, this is the uh, force of gravity of the solution so there is a height of 2.4 millimeter so we can write here uh, 2.4 millimeter height uh, okay so again so we can write here and the density is how much density is your 0.88 so 0.88 and density is there and again so g if you write it so g will be your uh, 981 okay so here uh, 2.4 millimeter so this is millimeter so you want to convert in by 10 so this will be centimeter so all unit will be your cgs system okay so this is cgs system so this is uh, totally coming 207.187 dyne per centimeter square okay so now we can put this value here this is uh, pi into csd so, so we can write here pi into v so this will be pi into v so this will be pi into v c into st so pi is 27.187 and what is the volume of the solution so volume of the solutions will be so we can write here our volume is given 100 ml so here is 100 ml volume is given so again uh, so uh, moles will be so moles will be your uh, will be weight by molar mass okay so weight by molar mass so right we can write here um, weight with your uh, it is given here 0.2 gram okay 0.2 gram so divide by weight by molar mass multiplied by uh, so here solution constant s is 8.314 here we will take s okay because we are asking dyne per centimeter square so we will take here in s and this is joule per kelvin this is joule per kelvin so per mole so we have to convert into 7 so again this will be your cgs unit okay so we have multiplied by temperature is 25 degree centigrade 273 plus uh, 25 so it will be your 298 so total will be 298 so this is a formula so we need to solve M. so if you solve it m so we will get here uh, 2.39 into 10 to the power 5 now so this i have calculated value if you do with the help of calculation so you will get the exact value this is the process so next is your calculate the at 20 at 27 degree centigrade calculate osmotic pressure of m by 10 solution of urea so this is the formula so here molality they have given concentration given temperature they have given you have to calculate the pi so very simple so formula we know that pi equal to c into s into t so pi will be here c they have given m by 10 means 0.1 molality and uh, uh, pi is given so we can write here atmospheric pressure value 0 0.0821 and multiplied by temperature means 273 plus 27 so this will be your 300 so answer you will have 2.46 atmospheric pressure this is our answer so next we can see at 27 degree centigrade calculate the osmotic pressure of 5 percent by volume urea so by volume so 5 percent by volume clearly means uh, 5 ml in 100 ml of solutions okay so 95 ml is the solvent so again we can take formula pi equal to c into s into t okay or we can also write here uh, pi into 
V and this we can write here W by capital M into S into T. So this is the number of moles solution constant temperature is given. Okay. So formula will be pi we know that as so a volume uh, they have given you. So volume is how much? So 5 ml 100 ml of solution. So we can write here uh, 100 ml. Okay. And here uh, weight is given here 5 gram. So 5 ml. So 5 ml. 5% is 100 ml. So okay. So weight of the urea is 5 by 60. Uh, what is uh, so molar mass of urea is 60. Is the 60 gram. Okay. So 5 by 60. Okay. And then 1 by. So 100 we know this will be your. Uh, if you are writing so here equal to so this will be your thousand sorry this will be your equal pi into v now this will be equal so weight this is the molar mass and solution constant is uh, this is your 0 0.0821 and again uh, our temperature is uh, so 27 degrees so this will be your 273 plus 27 okay so this will come 300 so again volume we know that okay and uh, this um, five percent by volume so this is the weight by volume so this will be not ml this will be your gram okay by volume is weight by ml okay so this is the gram 60 so here consider given as given t given so on calculation of this one so we will get here uh, if you calculate it so this you will get answers pi is equal to 20.53 atmospheric pressure so this is our answer So we have to uh, take each solutions very carefully how we are going the procedure then we can solve any problem so first we have to read the solutions see the requirement and then we solve the solutions so now here a solution prepared by dissolving 10 gram of the organic compound in 1 liter solution volume given 10 gram given temperature given osmotic pressure is also given that is 1.18 atmosphere calculate the molecular mass of the compounds so very simple questions so pi into v so this is equal to n into s into t so every time we are using this formula all the time okay so answer will be here so it's given here how much uh, atmospheric pressure is 1.18 and volume is 1 liter so this is your 1 liter so pi into v is given and n is 10 by molar mass so 10 is the 10 gram and atmospheric pressure is uh, how much they have given so this is atmospheric pressure so 0 0.0821 and again temperature is 273 plus 10 degree centigrade so on solving so we are equal m so m will become directly so this m will be equal to uh, 196.3 gram so this is our answer so this is our molecular mass of the compound so we will take some different problems osmotic pressure obtained osmotic pressure obtained by dissolving 18 gram of the organic compound 18 gram of the organic compound okay so in 1 liter solution is 2.414 into 10 power 10 newton meter square at 293 kelvin if the value of r is 8.3 joule per kelvin per mole so calculate the molecular mass of the compound okay so here we got the mass given volume given and pressure is also given here temperature given r is also given now we have to calculate the molecular mass the so answer become very simple we can use the previous formula pi into v uh, equal to n into s into t so this is our basic formula so here we know that pi so pi is given uh, 2.414 into 10 to the power there is no power is there so this is your pi and uh, what is the volume so volume is the given here 1 liter so 1 liter means 10 to the power minus 3 meter cube so this is the volume because newton meter square so we have taken this terms so here we write volume 10 to the power minus 3 and here molar mass uh, uh, weight is the 18 by capital M we have to find them and under and multiplied by 8.314 and temperature is 293 Kelvin so on solving we will get here uh, mass will be 181.33 
into 10 power minus 3 kilogram or we can say that 181.33 gram so this is our final answer so here at 24 degree centigrade osmotic pressure of cane sugar is solution is 2.5 atmosphere pressure calculate the concentration of solution in mole per liter so here we are finding concentration so again we use the same formula so pi is equal to c into s into t okay so we know that osmotic pressure osmotic pressure is 2.5 and concentration we don't know so again you write here 0.0821 and multiplied by temperature is 273 plus 24 degrees centigrade so it will be uh, 297 so this is 297 so on solving so c will be directly we'll get, we are getting 0 0.1025 mole per liter so this is the concentration of the solution so all questions are very easy we can easily solve this type of problems so now we'll see some more problems we are taking some initial this is initial questions so this is very useful for our uh, cbsc examinations and cit examinations okay some questions will be different level that will uh, give you after this one so this is the first level questions so a solutions of urea of a strength is 8.6 gram per liter is isotonic with 5 percent by volume solution of a non-volatile organic compound so again strength given gram per liter so again same it is isotonic by 5 percent by volume is weight by ml so by volume is weight by ml okay so this is isotonic means concentration of urea is equal to concentration of non volatile solution we can write here so for isotonic solution isotonic solution we can say concentration of urea is equal to concentration of non volatile solution non volatile uh, this is compound okay this is non volatile compound so both concentration will be equal so we can write here w1 by m1 into 1 by v1 okay with the concentration formula so w2 by m2 will be 1 by v2 hmm? very simple so again you put the value so we know the urea this is the urea this is the non volatile solid here we know the molar mass here we this is 1 by liter 1 liter and this is equal to weight we know that that is a uh, 5 percent by so here given 5 percent keep remember so 5 percent means 5 gram in 100 ml so this is the 5 molar mass we don't know here right here 1000 and divide by 100 so this is the by volume so on solving this m we will get 348.8 grams so this is our answer of this question So again, uh, at 17 degree centigrade, calculate the osmotic pressure of 10% urea solution. So, so 10% urea solution. So this is by volume. Again, this is by volume. So by weight by V percent, this is given. Solution contained is 0 0.0821 liter atmosphere per kiln. Per so S is given. Molecular mass is 60. So again, we can see it is very quick, easy question. So pi into V equal to n into s into t so this we know this formula okay so 10 percent they have given here so 10 ml in 10 gram in 100 